we are on to the final stretch of our G2 Poker TV tournament this week. 93 started and we're down to three. But before we crown our winner, here's how the rest of our field fared. Our remaining final tablists are all guaranteed at least 378 euros, with numero uno Math counting his chips ahead of Jons and Swordfish. Just missing out on the top three, Caden still took home a healthy 270 euros, while the first to fall at our final table, Beth Stad pocketed 60 euros for his trouble. Down in 15th is our old friend Carnicero, just sneaking into the money with 45 euros. And our bubble boy this week, narrowly missing out on the money, is Micmac1. Better luck next week, Micmac. But to see who takes that 807 euro top prize, let's get back to the action. So here we are, Steve, down to the final three. Anyone you particularly think should be here or shouldn't be here out of these three players? Uh, I think Jons has, has shown that he's an actual poker player. I mean, there's been a bit of gamble. A, lot, a few of the people on the final table got there just by pressing click. Yeah. You know, while it was away. the pair of twos, wasn't it, with that with that little bl bluff? Yeah. I mean, obviously, <laughs> we've only shown the highlights. We've shown a few freak hands. I've not seen too much from Swordfish all the way here. I don't know how he's there. Maybe we're just not picking out his hands. Maybe he's just been stealing blinds and then getting on with his own business. Eight, seven, oh, that's the kind of raise you love, isn't it? Eight, 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 eight. <laughs> uh, at this stage, every pot is a monster. Whoever wins this you know, is uh, rubbing their hands. Look at that town, it's like vertigo. It is. Uh, hearts no good, yeah, eight, seven no good. Three overcards are eight, seven. Does that give you the fear? It gives me the shivers up and down my spine. <laughs> Do not want to know that. <laughs> uh, he's massively ahead. He's stuck in a 75555. Five, five. I think he's just got a, a sticky keyboard. Maybe. Jon's nose to it's get evolved. out of the way there. Yeah. Uh, in, in fairness, he, he could have come over the top there and he would have got it, but he could not have known that. Math unless he was cheating. takes the hand and is elevated. No, uh, swordfish needs need to do something here. Although we, we have moved on a page. We are a few hands later. Blinds at this point at ten and twenty thousand. Six four, absolute filth. But at, at this stage, you can represent anything. Gets Who knows rid. how long these three players were sat here playing? It could have been hours. Yeah, I, I stopped <laughs> playing as soon as I was out. Stop watching me. <laughs> stop. Yeah, st oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, obviously, stop playing. Yeah, that, that goes <laughs> staying, and stop watching. <laughs> Cheeky raise with a, a filthy hand, 8-5. He massively dominated. Jons will have a look at this, no doubt. Have you seen these players change gear from playing at a 10-handed table to now playing against two others? Uh, not massively. I mean, it, it almost seems to have slowed down a little bit because yeah. people were going feral early on, weren't they? Getting, getting chips in. Yeah, no, th this will be interesting. Whoever wins this will have played the best poker because there's absolutely nothing out there for anybody. Math 11. So whoever wins this is the best poker player is what you're no, saying? No, no, not in the world. <laughs> Ever. Because I'm sat here. <laughs> Better than Phil Ivey. Well, to be honest, whoever gets the money in first can win this, unless you're going to be really clever, and that is being really clever. So Jon's He does not believe. With 111,000, is it enough to scare the others off? I think he's put the 111 in just to twist his melons, as his yeah. name is Math 111. Yes, I think you're right. Oh, Somebody's going Jons, on here. I like I, it. I should be standing on one leg. It's a, <laughs> it's a Nelson in cricket, isn't it? Uh, that was excellent play. He did not believe him, despite that incredibly scary board. What was it? Ace, ace King, Jack of Diamonds. Yeah. That's pretty scary in anyone's language. Did not believe. Uh, now we've got an ace on, on the table. Which so is Math from the last few hands has lost two, so over 200,000 in chips to Jons. You fancy Jons to win this, I think, don't you? Well, uh, yeah, he's played some of the best poker you know, of the hands we've seen. Queen 10 is a pretty hand, look. It's your lovely pretty hand. Oh, it's prettier if it's red. <laughs> oh my and <God>. hearts. <laughs> <laughs> how to win I a poker. I am joking, people, please. Sadly, she's not. Uh, how do you like those apples? Swordfish. <laughs> Uh, that will be a fold from Jons. He knows. Oh no! I, Ooh! That's that his looks first like mistake. those towers in uh, Kuala Lumpur, the Patronus towers. Right. <laughs> the way the just, just, the way the uh, just drop some chips names. Come up been there. there recently. I have. Uh, that's a big mistake, and it's been paid off in spades. Nine, ten, Jack, Queen, King. That's that looks very much like a straight, doesn't it? It does in anyone's indeed. language. Redraw, diamond. I knew that Queen Ten was pretty. Uh, no good. It is not enough. Jons wins the Again, hand now with a straight. I thought that was a bad call from Jons, which well, it was a bad call, and uh, he flops a straight. Of the hands we've seen, we've seen some freak results. In the long term, 
Ace five beats queen ten. <laughs> not, a, not a great deal. There's not a lot in it to be honest. Yeah, queen ten suited. Much in it, is there? Maths has built up his stack a little bit since we last saw. Well, heads up. I'm going to ask you for once. How, how do you think heads up play differs from uh, a full, <laughs> full table? From a full ring game. Well, Steve. Um, I'd be inclined to play a lot more hands. You're involved in every hand, aren't mm. you? You've, you've got some investment Action's in every quick. hand. I actually enjoy heads up play a lot. Yeah, I mean, he's actually playing. There's no sitting back. It's, you don't have a break. Though. It doesn't you really suit me. You can't. All the time. You can't sit back for an hour. We are down to two, of course. Third place did take 378 euros. Our second place will take 576, which is a huge leap. And then first pays out 800. So at the moment, they are paying for a decent wedge. So you, mean, you can't really start throwing money about willy-nilly here. You know, this is, no, you've this got is to pay uh, hundreds attention. of euros you're playing for here. If you're going for hours and hours in a heads-up game, how do you stay awake? How do you keep alert? Uh, I can't legally tell you, but there are, there are ways. <laughs> Meditation. <laughs> do you often have other things going on when you're playing poker? Do you, do you have the TV yeah, yeah, on? I, I'm and insistent. Yeah, I yeah. watch your entire football. football. It's, it's great that football starts yeah. at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, I'd watch an entire test match while playing playing <laughs> poker. We've now got very even between Jons and Math. And this is the kind of hand where it could get dangerous. People, a few hands later. People think a king is is always good in heads up. In, in looser games, a king and an ace it could all go in. Uh, I assume he's going to come over the top here. Ace two suited does look. That's another pretty one. nice heads up. Now, gotcha. we've seen Jon's call with worse hands than King 8. I mean, just a call would be prudent. It is a call. Floppage. Floppage. Any space. This could not be closer. There's about 4,000 chips in it. It doesn't help math. It helps uh, the it guy helps with the king. Jons. Uh, he's going to represent it. He's going to come over the top ahead. and he's going to fold. That's a, that's a big representation. Look, there's so much in the pot. You've, you've got to put a huge amount in. He's going to come out all it. I'd say all in here. Will we see an ace on the river though? We may not get to the river. There will be no turn or river if there's any justice. <laughs> uh, you're not going to throw away your tournament on ace high, I don't think. No. Tick, tick, tick. No spades out there. No sniff of a straight. You'd have to fold it. But just fold it nice and slowly for the benefit of the viewers. <laughs> Wait till it gets to. Click. Up. Time no. out. Uh, yeah, pretty standard play there. Uh, well, that's a huge swing, in fact. He's got to double yeah. the chips. But again, in one hand, that can swing back the other way. Now, we've talked quite a lot about Jons' play. What about Math? Well, it does help when you get dealt kings. does help with kings, yeah. <laughs> Before the kings came along. Uh, you was... like his style of play? Well, yeah, I'd say we only see the highlights. You can't always tell. I think, did he get lucky early on? I can't remember. He was, he was one of those who was there throwing, were a few his, hands he was the... throwing his chips around yeah. earlier. Yeah, it, it, he's done the right thing in heads up. He's, he's known when to fold. He came in a short stack. Okay, well, yeah, then. Uh, so he's done every pretty day well to get to where. Every day on earth is a bonus for him. <laughs> uh, King's still very good in this state. Again, Jon's, will, he will always ask a question and he will get the answer. Is he going to try and slow play this? It's got to be a raise. And people get scared when they've got the best hand because they think, oh no, I, I could lose. My Kings could lose at the end of the world. It's a Again, it's, uh, he's sending out some cryptic messages raise. with these numbers. It's, it's like lost. There's a, there's a code in there somewhere. No, it was Jons that se sent the cryptic raise out before with the 111. <laughs> right. He's trying I to think, uh, yeah, he's trying to have a go uh, at the same game. 9999 gets back in. Just pathetic. It should always be a round number <laughs> ending in zero. On Blinds at this stage are 12,500, 25,000. It's turning into something of an epic. I'm not sure how long this went on. It's actually <laughs> approaching midnight at this stage. Was long I felt like bed. I was playing for a long time and, and we only saw three hands <laughs> of what I played. So. I, I folded about 50 hands. Who knows how long these guys were playing. 4-5 suited, pretty tidy. Had two good heads up hands here. 10-9, yeah, just hands like this, you just want to see a flop. OK, what's it going to be? No idea. You tell me, you're the Nostradamus here. Uh, that is not a great deal of use to anybody, apart from the five. No. Bottom pair. Math, 69% to win this. 
you sort of think, you know, if if Jon's had an ace, he would have raised. So he's probably thinking his five is good. Heads up, if you, you get any kind of nibble of the board, heads yeah. up. You're generally in good shape. Turn card. Did he, uh, did he just check that? Didn't didn't bet his five. And then all of a sudden you got uh, the flushes coming up. Jon's one spade away from a, a medium flush. And maybe gets a sniff of that. This is his standard bet. Well, maybe Asking Ma a question. Gets the answer. Maybe Maths is just playing the slow game, knowing that uh, Jon's will bet. Can Jon's hit another spade here, or maybe ten, nine or spade. a nine or a ten? No, is the answer. No, he's got four fifths of a straight, which is uh, utterly useless. Uh, can he find another but bet? Can he maybe it's going to be, bluff need to be a big pot. one. I was wondering if he was one. going to try and do that. That, that is, that's the big bet. Oh, that we I think about. it might be enough to scare Math off. Well, it's most of his chips. This is all of his chips. Oh, oh, Jons, I love it. That's possibly, Seeing some good play there from Jons again. That's possibly the tournament winning move, I think. Mm -hmm. That is where you lost your tournament, I think, Math. Should have gone stronger on that five. So Jons now up to over one million in chips. That was uh, a very good play. In that last hand, uh, you got to well. It's all in. It's all in or fold for uh, the boy math. That's a shrewd fold from Jons. Uh, what's he thinking there? Just uh, well, we've, we've shifted on a little bit. Uh, math has clawed back some uh, some cash. Still a big underdog. Yeah. Queen, Queen eight. eight. Mm. Well, he's got to go all in, really. He Is he going to though? All the min raise. It's raised. a raise to 50,000. Queen six. Oh, oh, he's oh, massively ahead. It's a fold. Hey, Jons is just waiting for that one killer hand, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, all he needs is one decent hand. Blinds are still 12 and a half and 25. You can only do that for so long. You, 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 with the blinds at this uh, this size, you just keep folding and uh, you will eventually drive them away. Okay, uh, here this, we go. I well, think it might happen now. This has got to be Sevens it, against ace five. Heads up, this is uh, there's only one way this goes, I think. They're still both fairly deep, though. Yeah, he must like All that. All in? Yeah, he's got to, hasn't he? There it goes. Ace five. Two hearts Insta. against the sevens. Well, go and tell me what's going to happen. You, you've called it so far. Well. Seven's a clear favourite. Five, five. Seven flop. I'll give you a thousand pounds <laughs> now if that happens. <gasps> oh, damn. All right, seven's massive favourite. Looking for an ace or running hearts. The hearts are gone. Only the ace. Yons is our winner. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a straight. Anyway, Yons wins, as tipped by uh, by me. Indeed, you've played very well. Yons, congratulations, and takes home 807 euros for first place. I'm not place. joking. Yeah, 576 yeah. for second place. 576 for second place there for math as well. Uh, both well done. So, Steve, some good tournament play there, but what should anyone playing next week take from the tournament? Uh, I think it was a structure that caught me out, not making excuses, but uh, it seems like you've got a lot of chips. You've got 15,000 chips, but suddenly it moves on a pace. You know, I thought I'd sit there all night watch the football, play ace-king, uh, suddenly had 10 big blinds. So um, I would get involved in the action from the outset, really. Don't sit back. Get involved. Well, join me again next week for more action from the G2Poker.com TV tournament series. And if you want to find out more, then just go to theplayerchannel.com forward slash TV. See you next week.